Hello and welcome to Back to Weight Bit. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to get you set up on the PSX Core on the Mr. FPGA. A couple of weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to get this set up by downloading the uh, Core Pack from the GitHub website and using Quartus Prime software to build the RBF file. And I've discovered that there is a much more easier way of doing this. So here we are. I'm going to show you how to get the RBF file without needing to use the Quartus Prime software to create your file. And then we'll just quickly go over and do a quick recap on a few things that you need to do to get yourself fully set up. I know there may be still be people out there that will quite happily use the Quartus Prime software to create their RBF files and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because people like to dabble around with these things and uh, see how these things work and dig a bit deeper into the Mr. Setups. Now, again, the Quartus Prime software will come in extremely useful for any future calls that may be coming out in the future as well so you know there's nothing wrong with learning this way of life however if you want the easy option and you want to download the rbf file with the greatest of ease and especially at the moment as many updates are coming out on this maybe a couple of times a week two or three times a week we're getting new fixes for the uh Core. Now, I will also stress as well that this core is still in very much development stages and there's still a lot of work to be done, but the core is extremely playable at the moment. And as I've said before, I am really impressed with how it is functioning and how it works uh, so far. So at the time of recording, yes, there are still a few bugs that you may come across, but please be patient with it and it will come into its own very soon. Well, all you need is Discord. And if you haven't got a Discord account, I would certainly recommend getting one set up because it's extremely useful, especially within the retro community to get the latest information and to get help along the way. And it is all anonymous as well. You do set up an account, you use an alias name. Uh, you can just be a lurker. You don't need to really get involved, but it certainly is useful for getting the latest RBF file for the PSX core. Now, what you need to do is join the Mr. FPGA Discord server. And I will pop a Discord invite link in the notes as well for you. And inside that channel, you will find the latest RBF file for the PSX core. And in fact, you'll probably find many other in-development cores in this channel too. Now, once this core is fully completed, you will probably find it will be part of the update all script, which will take away all this pain of having to set up your own core yourself however because the core is still in development stages that will not happen so you do need to set this up yourself for the time being anyways just simply download the latest rbf file for the psx software and do keep coming back to this channel as well because i've seen three or four updates coming for the PSX core every week so it's always worth keeping a tab on the discord channel for that purpose only Okay, just to recap as well from my previous tutorial, there's no difference really with what you need to do in the next stages. As you can see on the right hand window, I've got my RBF file, file that I've downloaded from Discord. And there's also the scph1001.bin file that you need to download from an outside source. As I said, I can't give you any links for that for legal reasons. If you uh, just search that file name in Google, you should easily come across that or have a copy of this yourself somewhere on your systems. On the left-hand side, that's my Mr. SD card setup. And all I need to do, first of all, is copy my RBF file and place it inside my console folder on my Mr. Card. And then I'm left with this file. So what we first need to do is rename this file, completely delete the extension as well, and call it boot.rom, just like that. Okay, we then need to go into the games directory on your SD card and create 
can create a folder called PSX. Okay. And then all we simply do is copy the boot ROM into the PSX folder. And again, this is where you'll store all your games as well uh, when you import them across to your SD card. And that's it. It's as simple as that. That will now work. That's all you need to do. And we just then go into the consoles directory and we should see the PlayStation Core there. And there we go. And we'll bring up a, a game. And again, you need to go and put your own games onto the SD card as well. And there you are. It really is as simple as that. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back very soon. Take care. Goodbye.